please welcome Lisa Slavin, Hardin County Transition Readiness Director. Hello everyone. My name is Lisa Slavin and I am the Transition Readiness Facilitator for Hardin County Schools. As an educator and a longtime member of the Hardin County community, it's a pleasure to kick off today's celebration. A celebration of what is ahead and how we can together unlock the potential of this great community. <laughs> to all who have joined us here today, community members, elected officials, and our, ho our hosts from Ford and Blue Oval SK, Everyone, welcome to the Blue Oval SK Battery Park. Just over one year ago, we came together when Ford and SK announced their plans for this facility, a massive manufacturing campus that will produce batteries for electric vehicles right here. And standing here today, you can see it's quickly becoming a reality. Many of us have driven by this facility, seen the earth being moved, steel coming up from the ground, and imagining what it means to our future. Today, we're here to learn about the opportunities all of this will bring to Hardin County, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, our nation, and the world. Ford and Blue Oval SK are going to electrify the future of mobility right here in America. While it's exciting to know about advanced batteries and electric vehicles, this is really about people. 5,000 people will have solid careers right here in central Kentucky for people like you and your neighbors, and what excites me most, our students. <laughs> students from Central Hardin, John Hardin, North Hardin, Elizabethtown Independent, and LaRue County Schools will walk these floors knowing they are providing stability for them and their families. Members of the class of 2025, currently sophomores, will be able to stay here and have exceptional careers in the EV business. This initiative will create careers and power the EVs we may all drive. And if that doesn't excite you all about our future, I don't know what will. Ford Motor Company has been a pillar of our community in Kentucky for over a century. Eight years after the first one rolled off the line in Detroit, Ford Model T production started up the road in Louisville in 1913. And today, 109 years later, we're here to celebrate the innovation that will shape the next 100 years. The Blue Oval SK partnership unites two global manufacturing giants behind a shared vision with complementary expertise, moving faster together toward an electrified America. SK has years of battery safety and technology leadership, and Ford has a multi-generational legacy of producing America's vehicles. This opportunity before us is great and we are excited to work alongside Ford and Blue Oval SK to make it a reality. We are ready to help in, the, in, to help in electrifying the future of mobility. And with that, I am pleased to introduce Blue Oval SK CEO, David Hom. Welcome to the stage, David Hom, Blue Oval SK CEO. Good morning, everyone. Can I say, good morning, everyone. Good morning. We are excited. Yeah. I know my speech is going to be a little long because they told me I got to thank a lot of people here today. But hopefully you bear with me. Um, welcome to Blue Oval SK Battery Park. As you can see, we are making a lot of progress on the two battery plants that will stand on this property. Before we go further, I would like to acknowledge all the speakers who are here today and thank them for their hard work on behalf of Global SK. 
In particular, I'd like to acknowledge our distinguished speaker, the executive vice chairman of SK Group, Che Won Che, and CEO of SK On, <laughs> Dong Seop Ji, and of course, Governor Andy Bashir, <laughs> and all the cabinet members. They've been so supportive of this project. I also appreciate Council General Jung Han Kim, and he's the representative of Consulate General of the Republic of Korea in Chicago, and our distinguished guests, including representatives from our federal delegation, and thank you to all of the media who are here today. I'd like to thank Ford, SK Battery America, the Commonwealth of Kentucky for leading our efforts on battery curriculum and training, which is incredibly important. Thank you for the folks at Ford Land, SK On Construction Team, who along with the general con contractor Barton Merrill and local subcontractor Gray, who are overseeing the construction at Blue SK Battery Park, and the thousands and thousands of people who are building these incredible plants. Let's give our hands. It is Blue SK's fortune to have such hardworking, dedicated, and talented plant managers who will oversee the operations of these facilities. I'd like to ask our plant managers, please stand up and be recognized. Mark Haley, please stand up. Ryan Wheeler, please stand up. They will run our Kentucky battery plants, and also uh, Tracy Church, who will run our Tennessee plant. Now, there isn't enough time to thank all our guests here today, but I want to thank, on behalf of Blue SK, uh, our CFO, Jim Craney, my counterparty. Every day, he pressured me about money. <laughs> Seriously. Um, we are so excited to be here today. Uh, I am so thankful that you are part of the team. Uh, Kentucky, um, Glendale, Elizabethtown, we welcome the Global SK, building this great relationship with us so that we can become part of the fabric of your communities. I especially want to thank Brother Mike Bell of Glendale, <laughs> Mayor Jeff Gregory of Elizabethtown, and Hardin County Judge Executive Harry Berry for your leadership and your partnership. And we are celebrating together. And much thanks go to the Elizabethtown and Hardin County Industrial Foundation. Rick Games and Andy Games have been great champions for Blue Oval SK. They are even letting us share their office space. How gracious. To all of our elected officials, the economic development teams, chambers group, and all who are helping us. Forgive me for not calling all your names, but please know that you have my gratitude and that of Global SK, and we will show our thanks by being a good community partner. As the CEO of Global SK and one of the architects of the great agreement, that formed the joint venture between Ford and SK On, I am proud to stand before you and give you more detail about how this incredible facility will become the integral part of the electric vehicle revolution. By utilizing SK On's battery technology, Global SK will help Ford to reach its goal, producing an annual run rate of 2 million electric vehicles globally by late 2026. <laughs> Global SK is simply a combination of the expertise and experience of two innovative companies. The one parent company you are most familiar with, of course, Ford. It has more than a century old relationship with the people of Kentucky and the United States of America that is unmatched. And while you may be less familiar with SK On, I want to share some details about SK, which is a parent company of SK On. SK is the second largest business conglomerate in South Korea. It was established 60 years ago, and it has a long relationship with the people of South Korea. 
The company first started its business in textile, then moved to energy, telecommunications, and semiconductors. SK On has been manufacturing the safest lithium ion batteries to power electric vehicles for more than two decades. Beautiful vehicle designs, efficient manufacturing, coupled with safe, innovative battery technology is the road that will lead to the success for Global SK. Our success at Global SK is not only guided by the expertise of two leading global companies, but extends to Glendale, Elizabethtown, Hardin County, and all the surrounding communities and the counties that make up the Commonwealth of Kentucky. We are cultivating that success in three ways. First, Global SK will offer 5,000 good paying jobs that can become <laughs> careers for generations to come. We expect to have 2,500 employees in each plant. Great employment opportunities help communities thrive and grow. Second, Global SK, in partnership with the Commonwealth of Kentucky, will provide technical training for those careers at the new Elizabethtown Community and Technical College that will be built here on site at the Battery Park. Third, when people come to work at Global SK, they can be proud that they are making the most essential component of the electric vehicle for Ford and Lincoln brands, knowing that the batteries they make are safe and reliable. I often imagine those happy families, those kids proud of their daddy and their mommies who's making this great product together. That is what Global SK is about, safety, reliability, and the world-class battery technology. And this is how Global SK, together with all our partners, will electrify the future of a mobility. Thank you once again. And I, I now would like to introduce our distinguished speaker, the Executive Vice Chairman of SK Group, Jaewon Che. Thank you. Please welcome Jaewon Che, Executive Vice Chairman, SK On. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Jay Wan Che. I'm an executive vice chairman of SK Group. I'm honored to be here and to welcome all of you to this historic groundbreaking ceremony for Blue Over SK. I would like to recognize our distinguished guest, Governor Bisher. and General Counselor Kim, <laughs> and State Director Taylor, who helped make this happen in this great Commonwealth of Kentucky. Most of all, I would like to thank our local government officers and the great community of Glendale for all of our <laughs> for truly warm welcome to all of our employees at SK Ford and Blue Over SK. Blue Over SK is an icon of cooperation between two great companies and two perfect partners. Right here in this Glendale community, this joint venture company will employ 5,000 people in high-tech, good-paying jobs. We manufacture some of the most advanced battery in the world right here in Kentucky. Ford and SK are joining forces to lead the future of EV industry. We'll be manufacturing the safest and the most reliable batteries in the world. Over the next two years, Blue Over SK will build the biggest and most advanced plants for EV batteries. Where we stand today, right here in Glendale, will become the global hub of battery industry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
Kentucky is home of best bourbon in the world. <laughs> and the world famous Kentucky Derby. <laughs> And Kentucky will now emerge as hometown of the battery. Now, now that's going to power the most loved EV in America. Now, today's groundbreaking ceremony marks the beginning of this new history. I'm truly honored to be part of this great milestone for the future of Kentucky and for the future of America. Distinguished guests, today we are here together at this historic venue that will lead the electrification of the U.S. auto industry. And we look forward to working all of you to drive Kentucky's future through Blue Over SK. Thank you. Please welcome Dave Nowicki, Director of Manufacturing Operations for EV Programs, Ford Motor Company. Thank you, Executive Vice Chairman, for your partnership. My name is Dave Nowicki, and I am the Director of Manufacturing Operations for EV Programs at Ford Motor Company. It brings me great pride to see the progress made here at Blue Oval SK Battery Park, because this is where Ford and SK on will write the next chapter in our electrification story. A story that Ford has already begun to write. Ford's made some big bets on electrification because we believe in our ability to lead the electric revolution. We started with our most popular vehicles, electrifying the Mustang, F-150, and Transit. These vehicles are already performing tremendously in the market. F-150 is F-150 Lightning is America's best-selling electric truck. Yeah. Sales of E-Transit are climbing, and we've officially produced our 150,000th Mustang Mach-E just last week. <laughs> Sales of these vehicles have strengthened our position as America's number two EV brand with aspirations to be number one. <laughs> and now, we build batteries that will power our next generation of electric vehicles. And we have plans for these batteries to power a lot of EVs. Because Blue Oval SK Battery Park is a key enabler in Ford's plan to produce an annual run rate of 2 million electric vehicles globally by the end of 2026. <laughs> Blue Oval SK Battery Park is a huge step forward for Ford and for the industry. So while the other guys are dreaming about the future, we're already delivering it. Beyond the success of our EVs already in the market, look around today. You can see the construction progress we've made with our construction partners, Barton Mallow and Gray Construction. Partners that have made it a priority to hire locally to build this vision. We've been here day in and day out on this 2.3 square mile campus, working to build not just one, but two battery manufacturing facilities. Facilities capable of producing the kind of power that's hard to imagine. This is no small job. Since we started last spring, crews have moved enough soil to fill the Louisville Cardinals Stadium 200 times poured enough concrete to fill 356 backyard swimming pools, installed 1,300 foundations, each at least 60 feet deep. And when you put those end to end, that equals the height of nearly 60 Empire State Buildings, and erected 7,900 tons 
of structural steel equivalent to the weight of nearly 400 fire trucks. Ford and our construction partners have been working around the clock to build this facility, but we've also been hard at work within the community. Ford and our partners have always strived to be good neighbors. That's why we have worked to engage with the communities in Kentucky through donations, sponsorship, and volunteering, carrying on Ford's 109-year history in Kentucky. Ford donated $42,000 to the Glendale Volunteer Fire Department, <laughs> increasing the department's budget by more than 50% so we can help keep this community safe. Barton Mallow and Gray Construction have worked with Ford to refresh Glendale City parks and sidewalks. They've installed handicap accessible ramps throughout the community and have partnered with amazing nonprofits in and around this community, like the United Way of Central Kentucky, Feeding America, and Habitat for Humanity, to ensure they had manpower to support causes important to Central Kentucky. Ford also sponsored Glendale's famous Glendale Crossing Festival. And let me just tell you, you know how to put on quite the party. We are, power, we are proud to become part of the fabric of this community, and we are proud to partner with the great Commonwealth of Kentucky, working together to create the electric future we all can believe in. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce Governor Andy Bashir. Please welcome the Governor of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, Andy Bashir. Wow. Good morning, everyone. I am thrilled to be here in Hardin County for this incredibly important day. This is an important day not only for the future of this region and our entire Commonwealth, but also for the future of electric vehicles in the United States and beyond. We are here today making history as we celebrate the official groundbreaking of the biggest economic development project this state has ever seen. And it would not be possible without two amazing partners, Ford and its partner, SK Ons Blue Oval SK Battery Park. <laughs> Folks, the magnitude and the importance of this project simply cannot be overstated. And it's no mistake that we're taking this major step forward with Ford at our side. Ford is a long-term member of Team Kentucky. Our history together dates back more than a century, right to the very dawn of the automotive era when Kentuckians assembled the Model T in Louisville. This partnership has only deepened over the years. And I want to take a quick minute to note that Ford followed up this record-shattering announcement we're celebrating today with another huge investment. Just a couple of months ago in September, I was in Louisville to help company officials celebrate the announcement of a new $700 million investment. <laughs> Through that investment, they're creating 500 new Kentucky jobs, building the all-new 2023 Ford F-Series Super Duty Truck at the Kentucky Truck Plant. And today, the bonds of our incredible partnership grow even stronger. We're celebrating the progress that we're making on the absolutely game-changing and enormous Blue Oval SK Battery Park. Isn't this massive? <laughs> right here on this 2.3 square mile campus, these great forward-leaning companies are building a pair of electric vehicle battery plants that'll be capable of producing more than 80 gigawatt hours annually. This is the site where Kentucky's skilled workforce will produce millions of EV batteries to power the next generations of Ford and Lincoln vehicles. And let me tell you, Lila Bashir is already talking about that truck, and she's just 12 years old. Hey, you're clapping. 
And here, Ford and SK On are creating 5,000 great full-time jobs while also cementing Kentucky status as the EV battery production capital of the United States of America. And what an incredible name, SK On, because we're moving on into the future of the automotive industry and we're standing on the ground where we are gonna make that happen. Since day one of my administration, we focused on addressing the issues Kentuckians face when they sit down at their kitchen table. Providing good paying jobs and world-class educational opportunities are the keys to creating the better Kentucky we all desperately want for our kids and our grandkids. And all that comes together with the project of this magnitude. We're creating 5,000 direct high-wage jobs on top of the hundreds of construction jobs during the build-out phases. And with Elizabethtown Community and Technical College's new Blue Oval SK Center, which we heard about earlier, we're providing our people, especially our youngest workers, the education and skills training needed to succeed, not just secure, succeed in these high-tech jobs of the future. Back when we first announced this project, in September 2021 at the Capitol in Frankfurt. I remember talking with company executive chair Bill Ford in my office. He noted that Ford's move into EVs was the biggest investment in the history of his great company. And what I told him then is what I tell you here again today, Kentucky will not let you down. Because of great poor partners like Ford and SK, Kentucky is seeing unprecedented investment and job creation. Since the start of my administration, we've announced about $23 billion in new private sector, new location and expansion projects. These projects are gonna create more than 41,000 full-time Kentucky jobs. In August and September, Kentucky led the entire country in new job growth and we're having the two best years of economic development we have ever seen. This record-shattering Blue Oval SK project has also supercharged our rapidly growing EV sector. To date, we've seen over $9.7 billion in announced investment and more than 8,500 full-time jobs for Kentucky residents in the EV industry alone. Thank you all. Together, Ford and SK is ensuring Kentucky is where it should be, in the driver's seat. And together, we will lead this growing EV industry far into the future. That is a future full of prosperity and growth. One where our kids can chase every dream they ever have right here in the Commonwealth. One where these companies and this Commonwealth have a long-term commitment and we grow together. Team Kentucky, is exactly who we are. And we welcome these companies to the biggest endeavor we have ever done together. And while I'm standing up here as governor, I wanna make sure that I thank our General Assembly who came together to put together the package that made this possible, our local officials who welcomed these companies, the Korean American Society right here in Elizabethtown, to everybody who had any part of making this happen, look behind you and I hope you're really proud because a project of this size is so big, nobody needs to take all the credit, we can all share it together. So thanks again to Dave Nowicki, Liliana Ramirez, and everybody at Ford, thanks to Jay Wan Che and everybody at SK On, as well as David Hom and the entire Blue Oval SK team. And a special thank you to Hardin County educator, Lisa Slavin, who started us off as well as ECTC President Dr. Justin Pate, Jennifer Linton, Executive Director of the Finance and Administrative Cabinet, Andy Casebeer at KCTCS for all of his work on this training center. Together, we're not just talking about building a better Kentucky. We are actually improving the lives of our people in a fundamental and transformational way that's creating the foundation for success for generations of Kentuckians to come. Thank you to these companies, Thank you to everybody who made this happen. Today is one of the biggest historic moments in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. God bless y'all.
Please welcome Liliana Ramirez, Global Director of Workforce Development, Ford Motor Company. Thank you, Governor. And good morning to everybody. My name is Liliana Ramirez, Ford's Global Workforce Development Director. During the past 29 years, my career has taken me throughout the United States and around the world, working within communities to develop talent and create careers that uplift families and their communities for generations. And that's why I've been working with Ford Motor Company for nearly three decades because of that passion for people and development. And here today, we are honored to be in Glendale to begin the next chapter in Ford's story. Woo! <laughs> Blue Oval SK Battery Park will employ 5,000 people. That's 5,000 great careers in clean manufacturing facilities right here in central Kentucky. This high-tech complex will produce advanced batteries for electric vehicles. And in order to produce these batteries, we need a workforce trained in the latest battery and advanced manufacturing technologies. We intend for that workforce to come from central Kentucky. And we're developing training to be delivered to them right here on this site. Absolutely. Employees will learn at the all-new joint ECTC Blue Oval SK Training Center located on this 1,500-acre site. This training center is unique. The ECTC Blue Oval SK Training Center is the only co-branded learning facility in Kentucky, and it is possible because of the $25 million investment by the Commonwealth of Kentucky. It's a massive training center for a massive battery campus. The 42,000 square foot training facility will support battery training, including technical and essential teamwork skills. Blue Oval SK will train employees in SKON's proprietary technical, quality, and manufacturing processes through classroom training, as well as virtual reality and work simulation labs. Employees will be immersed in the latest technology, allowing them to understand the battery making process prior to setting foot within the plant. And with all of this construction, as Governor mentioned, around me, I would be remiss not to mention that construction will begin at the training center in 2023 and is scheduled to be complete in 2024. This work has been a truly amazing partnership between SKON, the Commonwealth of Kentucky, and Ford. This partnership is so important because not only do education and great jobs build strong communities, they change lives. We're providing access to education and great jobs, helping to build a strong community and change the lives of those who live here by bringing economic opportunity. My team and I have heard this countless of times from the time we've spent meeting with the community members and the educators. As part of our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, another group that we've been working with and are dedicated to is our veterans. Here with us, Veterans, absolutely. Here with us today is General Jim Iacocca, who leads the military base transition program at Fort Knox. General Iacocca is responsible for helping the great men and women who have served this country transition from military service to employment. And Blue Oval SK Battery Park Make that, makes that employment available right here in central Kentucky for the American men and women who work to make this country what it is. Previously, I was a civilian logistician for the U.S. Army and helped keep our tanks on the move during Desert Storm. It makes me so proud to know Blue Oval SK will provide great careers for the individuals who have served in central Kentucky and want to stay in central Kentucky.
This is a once in a lifetime opportunity and we look forward to continuing the amazing work in partnership with all of you. And I think that's plenty of reason to celebrate, so let's go. Thank you so much. That concludes our presentation.